Welcome to the Soul Happy Success Series. I am your host and coach Rebecca and this video is all about how do you wake up earlier. Before we jump in be sure to hit like and subscribe it helps so much and feel free to comment. I love reading them comments. So I have been asked this question by every single client at one time or another occasionally multiple times and it's so interesting to me, especially working with women who are transitioning from their nine to five to full time in their own business. We have this need for more time. Like, let's be honest, hit me up in the comments. We need more time. Everyone's like, time is the most valuable resource. Your time and attention is such a gift. I'm so grateful. So the thing is, is that mornings are perfect to generate more time because it's less disturbed by kids, partners, work, your brain's in like the right space. So I get it. Now, I have been a big fan of the 5am club for years and I'm pushing for 4am this year. So I know a little something about early mornings. Like this is how I'm qualified to teach early mornings. Because not only are mornings quieter all around, they are also the time where your mind is at its most creative. So here are my three absolute top tips, could not live without, about getting up earlier. So firstly, if you do not implement anything else, this will work. This is like the top, the top tier. I have two alarms. One is on my phone, which is gentle and calm. So like a really lovely wake up. And the other is not. The other is like an old school, like brrrring, alarm. It's like an assault to my poor ears at 4 a.m. And it sits in the corner of my bedroom, literally in the corner on the floor, because they have to be far enough away from your bed that you have to get up and get out of bed to turn them off. So both are my phone and my old school Savage Alarm are both far enough away from my bed, but the old school alarm that's like the Savage one is the furthest away. It's literally right by the door because I need to get up and get out of bed because that's the part that people get stuck in. It's like, oh, bed's warmer, right? And then two is you need to know your first task. Choose what you're going to do first. So mine is every single day I wake up, I turn off my alarm and I go and get a hot water. That's it. So then you can build routine and habit stack. Now my mornings are pretty much the exact same. I could tell you exactly what I do. Habit stacking is when you already do something and it leads to the next task. So mine is water, breakfast, working. Simple, right? So right now for you, it might be alarm goes off, press snooze. See the stack? So change it to alarm goes off across the room get up, turn off, and then do X. So get a hot water, open your laptop to work, meditate, stretch, make breakfast, whatever floats your boat. Everyone's different in terms of what they want to do. And I can totally do a morning routine if that serves people because my morning routine is like on point. But you must decide what that's going to be first. And this leads into point three. You must set up for success the night before. So have a bedtime. Oh, my concept. I am not going to sugarcoat this. My bedtime is 9 p.m. for a 4 a.m. wake up. Reparent yourself. You had a bedtime when you were little. No, you will not want to go to bed at 9 p.m. the first few times that you do it if you're not used to it. You will not want to do it. You'll be like, no, I'm better at night. But then you can't complain that you can't wake up in the morning, bro. Like, let's not sugarcoat. Let's just be honest. So as a reminder, this saves my soul. If you go to bed those first few times and you're lying in bed, you're unable to sleep, then this idea that rest is as productive as sleep for my body is so calming. So you're welcome to try that one just to get you through those first kind of couple of times where it maybe feels challenging because there ain't nothing worse than when you're tossing and turning, right? So on the point of setting up for success, random life fact, my bathroom is always warm. Didn't see where that was going for a minute, did you? Fair. So I put my clothes in my bathroom the night before so that I can change in the heat, right? If you want to run first thing in the morning, put your trainers beside your bed. What I'm saying is consider your environment and how you can have as little resistance as possible in the mornings to set up for success. So this has been how to wake up earlier, so simple, three things. 
I know you've got this. I hope you have some ideas of what you want to implement into your own life. If you have any extra things that you do to support you, I would love to read them in the comments. If you've taken something away and you're like, this is my new habit stack, get up, get the water, whatever it is, I'd love to know in the comments. And if this resonated with you, hit me up on the social, Soul Happy Success. I love to hear from you. If you are in Edinburgh, we are having an in-person event on the 27th of March, complete with training, headshots, and most importantly, coffee and cake. So hit me up in the DMs for more info. My name is Rebecca Laidlaw, the owner of Soul Happy Success, which is a life and business strategy program specifically for women who are transitioning out of their nine to five and at risk of undercharging and overworking. A lot of women are burned out and I don't want you to be one of them, which is why I make this channel. So keep showing up for your dreams. I'm sending you all the love. Bye.